Hi there, we're going to be setting a tool on our uh, Okuma ESV4020 using an Okuma OSP U10M control. Alright, so first of all, uh, we're going to need to touch off the spindle face. Alright, so we're just going to come up with the Z. Uh, we're going to do a manual tool change, so we're going to click the preparation button and then tool unclamp. So I'm just going to grab a hold of this, unclamp. We're going to touch off of this face right here, okay? So you're going to see that the uh, tool setter is now at zero and the spindle face is touching right on the Edge Technologies tool setter. We're going to use these buttons to uh, navigate through, make sure you're in actual position. So these buttons navigate you through several uh, positional screens, one with a load display, there's your actual position. Um, so we're gonna need to be in relative actual position, okay? So we're gonna go extend here, extend, and then we are going to go relative zero set, and then the axes, that's gonna be Z. Okay, and then click right, and you'll see that that position is set to zero. Okay, so that's step one. Step two, is we're going to come up with the Z. We're going to leave the tool setter in there and we're going to put a tool in. So the only button we need to push over on the control is tool clamp. Once we've lined the tool up correctly in the spindle, um, the hole has to go a specific way. So I have it marked on our spindle with a zero. Put that in, get tool clamp. Now that that tool is locked in, we're going to make sure that uh, we go into pulse handle on the control. We're going to come down. And zero that out. So now we're going to see the total length of the tool from the spindle face. And that length is 4.5683. So then we're going to come over here to tool data. You're going to see your tool length offset in the H. So to enter something, uh, you need to hit set. And then enter the number over here and then hit right. So uh, you can also add a certain amount to the length of the tool if you want. Say you're adding another tool, maybe it's a tap or something that's not as critical as, uh, as far as what specific length that you want. So maybe you're changing two taps and you want to add 100 thou or something. Uh, you can do add, and then uh, that'll just add a certain amount onto it. You can also add a negative number to subtract from this offset if you need to. So the offset is 4.5683. Uh, we're going to go to tool data. Okay. Set. 4.5683. Right. And that offset has changed to 4.5683. Okay. So that's the number, just double check one more time. And now we're good. So if you use a tool like this and you have measured the offset of this tool, uh, you will be able to add tools like this to your tool changer, call up that tool uh, in the program or in your software uh, and not have to worry about picking up the individual tool. Uh, this tool here uh, will pick up your X, Y, and Z. It's a Heimer 3D sensor. Um, I saw it on NYC, CNC, and a couple other places. I decided to make the investment. Fantastic decision. Um, it, it is a good tool for that. But you can use any known tool uh, to set your zero. So I'm, I know that my offset here, the total height of this tool to zero on this sensor, is a 6.0955.
So if I was to try and set my zero, I already have it set on this job, so we're not gonna do that. But if I wanted to set my zero uh, after picking up my tools, I would go into the program zero option and I would do calibrate on the Z and then punch in the offset. So in this case, 6.0955, 6.0955, right, and then that uh, offset will be calibrated. You can use any known tool. For example, I could use this tool and then punch in the length if I wanted to pick up on, let's say, this surface over here. And that's how you set tools on an Okuma ESV 4020 or any Okuma machine with a U10M control.